You know, don't need to have a weatherman to know which way the weather is blowing. Climate change has been debated, denied, and promoted for, I don't know, 10, 20 years. And I, have, I feel like this. If you are a business person and you take in what Limbaugh and some other folks say that climate change may be happening. Some still say it's not happening, but if you say or they say it's not man-made, you know, I have to think either you have been listening to the wrong people or you do not have enough schooling or you do not possess the intellect to be able to see the larger pictures and dot all the I's. And I think you might be lazy, okay? Because if you, once you accept that climate change is happening and it's man-made, you have to do something. You have to start thinking about what can you do to help mitigate the changing of the climate. And it'd be nice in a way to change the climate, but unfortunately, uh, just like in India, the Himalayas had, had a, a small runoff of water. The hydro plants did not generate electricity. The farmers pumped more water from the ground using electricity. And it got hotter and hotter. More and more people in Delhi, Bombay, Mumbai bought air conditioning. And the power plants died down. Well, more and more of that's going to happen. And dams are going to be in the wrong place. So when I thought about climate change, and when I thought about you, especially those that are grandparents, I made this painting. And it's called Grandpa. What are you going to leave behind for me? And I sort of think, you know, something's coming up here, and at some point it drops. You know, maybe it just has, we just get too many, too much carbon in the atmosphere. And what then happens, this fulcrum moves, this egg breaks, and things are going to break big time. And what us grandfathers are doing by not conserving energy and not doing positive things, we are going to leave the grandchildren more than a mess. I mean, we will have more disruptions to our economy, to our lives than ever before. And every disruption is not going to please us, and it's going to cost us money. We're going to have breakdowns in transportation systems. Prices are going to go up for food, everything, blackouts. So if we want our children and grandchildren to inherit a place like the United States where we have so much good structure, governments, etc., and they can survive and prosper, we should do what we can. 